Greetings, it is I, Tantus Narvan Dracovan, Lord and Emperor of the Dracovan Empire, and welcome! It is time to continue our discussion on the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons, 5th edition D&D. When we last left off, we were exploring the multiverse, visiting the various many planes and describing to you what you'll find there. Today I'm going to continue where I left off with a few more layers of the abyss it might be important for you to know about before moving on to another one of the planes that you're going to visit. So let's talk about some more of those layers with Thanatos. This is the realm of Orcus. The best thing you should know about it is if he had his way, every plane in every realm would appear just the same, and every creature in those realms would be undead under his control. It is a bleak place of massive mountains, of barren moors, of ruined cities, and black trees, where it is littered with tombs, gravestones, and mausoleums everywhere where undead and massive hordes roam the lands, ready to tear apart travelers who are foolish enough to visit there. Orcus rules from Everlost, a massive palace of obsidian bones set in the middle of this windswept wasteland known as Oblivion's End. It is surrounded by tombs and burial sites set in the valleys and crevices, making this kind of layered necropolis surrounding it. Now the demon web is where the Spider Queen herself, Loth, domains over. It is this massive area of twisting webs, which magical webs, which create tunnels and cocoon-like chambers that maze throughout the area. Littered throughout it are ships, building objects, and other structures that just seem to be kind of hanging and mixed in there, like twisted things in a spider's web. Portals to the material plane and other demi-planes and other planes can show up randomly here as if through the magic of the web, depositing these objects and things into there, whether through some kind of schemes of loss that we do not know why she sort of collects these things. Her minions carve dungeons out of these webs to create trappings and hunt down her enemies, which seem to be drawn into these webs, basically in this twisted maze of death and hunting within the webs. But below them, is a massive bottomless pit known as the Demon Web Pit. This is where the Spider Queen herself, Loth, resides, with her handmaidings, Yolkloth demons, looking after her. These demons are the top tier within the plane. Basically, regardless if there are more powerful demons out there, they are in charge here. And of course, Loth above them. The Endless Maze is ruler of Baphomet, the demon prince of minotaurs. And is this endless maze of corridors and confusing chambers at which the center sits his enormous ziggurat palace where he rules over this plain. Surrounding it is a mile-wide moat where underwater are stairs and tunnels that maze through this water leading into the fortress itself. So perhaps you can try to get into the fortress through the maze under the water, but then you're under the water and you have to penetrate the maze in the first place. <clears throat> the Triple Realms, or Asgrat, is ruled over by the Dark Prince, Grazit. It is three layers of the abyss that he rules over, sort of combined together. From his Argent Palace he rules, in the city of Zelatar, a place known actually for its bustling trade in merchant districts, and the fact that it is a place to find lore and hidden objects throughout the plains. It is a place where you will find demons being civil with you by orders of their dark lord, their dark prince. Now, this isn't to say this plane and these realms aren't as dangerous. People go missing in the streets, and there are very dangerous things even outside the city. It is still the abyss, and it's no different in the level of danger. It's just that you might find some semblance of temporary safety in the city but it's really surface deep. The Death Dells is ruled over Yunugu, the demon prince of Knolls. It is a realm where everything hunts everything. Even the plants need blood to survive. And the demon Knoll, he hunts constantly for everything there. His servants try to satiate it by drawing in things from the material plane and other planes for him to hunt down here and to keep his bloodthirst in check. Let's move on, though, to the next plane I want to talk about, Carteri, the Tartarian Depths. It is the realm between neutral evil and chaotic evil. It is the prison plane, a place where thieves and backstabbers are sent to live out their eternity. 
is a place of desolation and despair, with vast bogs, fetid jungles, windswept deserts, jagged mountains, and freezing oaken oceans with black ice. It has six layers to it. Now the optional rule here is prison plane. Effectively what it means is those that travel here, they're stuck. Nothing short of a wish spell allows you to escape using magic from this plane. Otherwise, it's one way in. Portals and gates are one way into Karserai. There are, of course, secret ways to escape from the plane. But they are well guarded, hidden in places with traps and powerful guardians protecting them, doing their best to prevent anything from escaping the plane. So that's it for today. I finished up talking about the important layers of the abyss you might want to know about. A bunch of ones that are where many of the important leaders or creatures that you might face against in the abyss exist within. Some of the more dangerous places. I then talked to you about Carceri, the prison plane. A place where the most thieves, backstabbers, and those kind of traitor-like people are sent to spend their eternity in a horrible place. In the next episode, I'm going to talk to you about Hades, Gehenna, and more. So if any questions, comments, anything you want to say, anything you think I left out, please just leave in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel, the Empire, and of course the work I do. If you want to show some extra support, you can always check out my Patreon, link in the description below. But regardless, until the next time, I bid you farewell.